if you got stubborn muscle knots between your shoulder blades that you can't get rid of, you should watch this video. And in this video, I will show you a super simple exercise for your muscle knot that will only take you 60 seconds to do. And by the way, if you haven't watched my other video and be sure to watch it at the link below. If you want to learn how to retrain your body and then movement safely and then effectively and then move better, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. I am Taro Iwamoto. I am a Feldenkrais practitioner with my background in athletic training, physical therapy, martial arts, and the Feldenkrais method. I have helped many people like you overcome and then move beyond the pain and the limitations. Now it's your turn and let's dive in. So we're going to start with a quick test before the exercise so that you can compare after the exercise and then you can feel the difference. So sitting or standing and then have your arms just hanging at your side comfortably and go ahead and close your eyes and bring attention to feel your shoulder blades and <clears throat> whichever the side that you have a tightness, stiffness and muscle knot in the pain and that's the side that you're going to be uh, paying attention to. So feel the distance from your shoulder blade, whichever the side that is tight for you and to the spine and notice the space and the distance and then compare to the other side. And as one side to feel a little closer to the spine, which side has more space? And also bring attention to feel the sensation of your arms. How long does your right arm feel? How heavy does it feel? And how long does it feel? And compare to the other side. And is there, is there any difference? And we use this as a reference and then at the end, you're going to compare a difference in a sensation. And go ahead and open your eyes. <clears throat> and the next thing, so uh, you're going to do this movement with uh, the, uh, whichever the side that you are going to do the exercise. <clears throat> so let's say I'm gonna pick my right arm. So I'm gonna slowly and raise your arm over head, slowly. And just to feel the quality of the movement, not so much of the range of motion, but how smoothly and how lightly does your arm move and compared to the other side. And so this is a reference movement. And then now let's get to the exercise. You're going to be lying down on your side. So let's say I'm working with my right arm and I'm going to, going to be lying on my left side. But if you're working with your left arm, you're going to be lying on your right side. I'm going to be on my left side and bring your legs bent a little bit up, knees bent, hips are bent a little bit and starting with arms about the shoulder height and arms straight and uh, my right arm on top of my left and from here and slowly bring your, bring your arm towards the ceiling. And then you stop there and then also check that making sure that you are not tensing your hand, tensing your wrist. Just let your, uh, the hand and uh, wrist dangle, just relax. And from here, and very slowly and begin to lift your right arm up towards the ceiling, slowly. And you're not really trying to go as far as you can, but you're just trying to Move your right arm and lengthen your right arm just a little bit and hold it there for a few seconds without tensing your arm. And after a few seconds and slowly let the gravity and the weight of your arm lower your arm down without bending your elbows. And then stay there. So you're going to do that just a one or two more times and very slowly. Then as you do that, pay attention how your shoulder blade is moving. And it's starting to lengthen your arm and reach your right arm towards the ceiling. But you can feel the shoulder blade is gliding along uh, your rib cage. And hold it there. 
here in a few seconds, I don't say about 10 seconds and very slowly let go and feel how your right, uh, how your shoulder blade is and your arms are moving down towards the floor. So you can feel the shoulder blade is gliding down and gliding towards the spine and towards the floor. And one more time, reach up. And let go, let your arm, shoulder blade move down. And the most important thing, the way that you get the most benefit from doing this uh, exercise is by doing it slowly and by paying attention to your sensation. So it's not really a stretching to loosen up the muscles, but by paying attention and moving slowly, you are allowing these muscles to relax. And uh, so the nervous system won't let go of unnecessary tension. And now that you are done, and you're going to sit or stand. So now you're sitting or standing, and you're going to check what you check in the beginning. So let your arms hang at your side and and feel the sensation of your arm, the one, the side that you did the exercise. And feel the length and the weight of your arm with your eyes closed. And also feel the distance from the shoulder blade to the spine on that side. And compare to the other side. And can you feel the difference in one side and feels like it has more space between um, from the spine? And does it feel as if that arm that you just did an exercise and feel a little bit lighter and longer? And you can raise that arm up slowly and towards the ceiling. And notice how that arm moves now and compare to when you first did it and compare to the other side. Is there a difference? So what causes the muscle knot and the tightness uh, around the shoulder blades and between the shoulder blades? It's a very common place to have a muscle tightness. And, and so often that we, um, we keep the shoulder blades from moving freely and we almost hold the shoulder blades back in place doing activities such as um, you know, desk work, computer work, and driving, and then even walking. And how often do you see people walking without the arms moving at all, without the shoulder blades moving at all, and constantly, unconsciously, and so many people hold the tension around that area, but they don't notice it because that is a habit, right? And by doing this exercise, simple exercise, and moving your arms slowly and allowing your nervous system to let go of the tension around that area and allowing the shoulder blade to move and freely. And when the tension changes and when you allow the shoulder blade to move more freely by just moving it slowly, and you notice the changes in the sensation of the shoulder blade. And what was your experience at the end? And did you feel a difference from the beginning? So comment below if you find this exercise was helpful for you and let me know what you have noticed and at the end of the exercise. If you want to improve your back pain, be sure to grab your free movement guide to pain-free back at the link below. Check out these videos. And if you like this video and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends, comment below how helpful you found this video was. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Happy mindful movement. Bye-bye.